defense of Credit Karma or Credit Sesame or any of the other free apps that offer a Vantage score in general, I'd like to offer my own opinion here. The original Spark, uh, original tweet that uh, sparked this conversation went something like this. Checking your credit score on Credit Karma is like uh, checking your symptoms on WebMD. Guess what? I totally agree with that. There's nothing wrong with that though. There, there, it's any ab, any rational thinking, conscious being will know that checking a website to get a major diagnosis is not the best idea. You're going to want a professional, but it helps. It's still WebMD is a. I've used it. Millions of people have used it to help figure out some of the smaller things or to decide what is the next step. There's nothing wrong with the uh, WebMD. There is nothing absolutely not wrong with getting a free credit score from these uh, free apps. They are useful tools to help making that next decision. Okay, so there is a difference, yes, and it is clearly stated in all the materials on all these websites. It is a Vantage score. It is not a FICO score. Yes, FICO still owns a, a very strong monopoly on uh, credit decisions in this country and worldwide just about 90 90 percent of uh, credit scoring decisions involve a FICO score Vantage score is growing but most scores are uh, that that are going to be used in a loan are going to be your FICO score that said I'm not going to agree with anybody that says that a free credit score is worthless first of all it's free it is a credit score, but if you, if you don't find it helpful, you're not using it properly. You're, you're not even thinking about it. The free credit score, here's, here's why. Any activity on your credit that will affect your Vantage score is also going to affect your FICO score. Use the Vantage score. Use these free scores to watch for trends. Do not use them as the basis for borrowing money or getting a loan or thinking, this is how much I can, I can borrow. They can give you an idea. They are going to be off. They could be off 10, 15, uh, 10, 15 percent, uh, percentage points, high or low. Everybody who's uh, chiming in, of course, is talking about how much higher they are, but there are plenty of people who it's going to be lower. Guess what? Your FICO scores are the same way. You have three... A FICO scores, one from each of the main consumer reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and they can vary by as much as 100 points. Nobody's complaining about that right now, but you will, of course, because it is, nobody likes, it feel, everybody feels uncomfortable with, with things that they don't understand completely. And it's true, fi, uh, credit scores are difficult to wrap your head around. Your Vantage score is going to be different than your FICO score that's okay. Use it to watch for trends. And if all of a sudden your FICO score drops unexpectedly, that's a sign that you need to check. Is there something going on in my in my uh, on my credit report? Maybe somebody's opened up an account fraudulently in my name. Use it as a tool. Don't use it as a basis for loans because that's not what it's meant for. It's all about trends. So my recommendation Let's all take some more responsibility for our own credit rather than blaming free credit scores. Let's make sure that we are educating ourselves on credit. There are so many free credit, uh, credit education programs out there. Lots of materials from trustworthy organizations. Please use some of our free stuff on our academies. There are lots of opportunities to learn more about credit so you don't have to feel like you don't know why they're, they are different and feel like it's some sort of conspiracy theory again. We're not going down that rabbit hole. Okay, thank you for joining me. Enjoy your free credit score, and let us know if there's anything that we can help you with at MoneyFit.